everyone at SUI. One of my favorite things to do is go to the local libraries to their programs. So one of our favorite programs that we go to is Best of Books. This is similar to kind of what Goodreads does every year, except it's not a voting thing. It's just the librarians get together and figure out their favorite books that they read that year, and then they talk them up. And they have three different sessions. So you can pick two to go to. So they have one for children's and one for YA and then one for adult books. And so we usually go and hang out at the YA one and the adult one. We get so excited for this because we know that we're gonna go away with our TBRs being completely massive after that. So I thought I, today I would just tell you a little bit about that experience last night, just some of the books that I'm adding to my TBR from what the librarians talked up. They do giveaways if you win, they let you choose whatever book that they talked up, they will mail it to you. They just order it from Amazon and mail it to you. And last year I won and I chose the uh, girls, the girls I've never been, the girls I've never been, I think that's what it's called. And we will be reading that for book club in a couple of months. So I will be letting you know what I think about that one really soon. We, I go with, a, with some of my friends. Yes, we did get together last night and it was a crazy snowstorm here. Crazy, crazy snowstorm and I drove all around in it during the day, doing some errands here and there, and then gathered my friends up in our big car and braved the streets, and we went ahead and went to this thing. So the first one we went to was YA Books, and I must say, I was a little bit disappointed in that session. Number one, I feel like the librarians who put that one on, they had the synopsis of the books, and they just read them instead of telling us like what they loved about it. And like all all I need is like like a one sentence almost. Like I don't need the, to know the whole plot of a book. I just need to know like the genre and what you loved. Hopefully I'm doing this on, the, on my channel and doing okay t telling, talking up a book without just telling you a plot. But the thing that the thing that made me the most crazy is that they didn't just talk to us. Like they didn't look up at us and tell us the story and why they loved this book so much. They just read and it was just frustrating to me. The, the librarians and the adult one, they did it right. They didn't even have prompts. They just got up and said, this book was awesome because blah, 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 blah. So anyway, I was a little bit disappointed in that session. This is the first page. This is the second page. I crumpled them up in my purse to bring them home. And I know you might be interested in the whole list, but I'm just gonna tell you the ones that jumped out at me and that I hope to read someday. So, and we were a little bit late, but they were talking about This Woven Kingdom, which is the first book in that series. And I really, really hope to read that one soon. And I, so I missed what they said about it. Yeah, but I was glad to see that one on the list. Um, and that one we are gonna be voting for for our book club schedule. And I'm gonna make another video about all the books that are on our book club voting list because I think you guys might find that interesting. And then let you know what ends up winning the list and so that what we'll be reading next year for book club, but that will be a different video. But this is the one that I have nominated for our next year's schedule uh, in, in book club. This Woven Kingdom by Tahara Mafi. Let's see some others that I marked. The First to Die at the End by Adam Silvera which is, they said, a prequel to Everyone Dies at the End, or They Both Die at the End, that one. I can't remember the exact title. So that one, I if you watched the short I did of some books I ended up with uh, the other day, that's one of them. So I will be reading that one. So maybe I will want to read the prequel afterwards. I don't know. And then another one that I marked was A Scatter of Light by Melinda Lowe. I didn't really make any notes, cause, so I can't even remember now why I marked that one but it sounded good. Together We Burn by Isabel Ibanez. Ibanez. And let's see what's on the other side. No Filter and Other Lies by Crystal Maldonado. That one sounded like a social media craziness. Love Decoded, Jennifer Yen. They said this one was Jane Austen for math lovers. Something like that. You, Me, and Our Heartstrings by Melissa C. When You Get the Chance by Emma Lord. I marked that one just because I love Emma Lord books. As Long as the Lemon Trees Grow by Zulfa Katow. This Is Why They Hate Us by Erin 
H. Aceves, Cruel Illusions by Margie Houston, and then Jasmine Zumida Needs a Win by Susan Azenbauer. And I put 80s question mark because it seemed like when they talked about the plot of this book, it said it's something, something during the Iran hostage crisis, which was in the 80s, and something that I remember being huge when I was growing up. And so I, I'm interested in 80s books right now. So if it take, takes place in the 80s, then that was what sparked my interest there. Being Mary Bennett by J.C. Peterson. They said this one was sort of a fun Jane austen -y retelling, kind of. Not really a retelling, but a, like the girl is trying to be Lizzie and not Mary. Um, All My Rage by Saba here and I wrote that one down because I am currently devouring her um, and Ember in the Ashes yeah the Ember in the Ashes series and so I know that I'm probably gonna love anything she writes um, don't go to sleep by Bryce Moore the librarian that did talk about this one kind of went ballistic over this one she was a little bit animated at least <laughs> so I'm like okay if it's that good I better mark it down um, so those are the ones I marked from the ones that they talked about on the YA list. I felt like they did have a lot of more unfamiliar authors and less popular books, which could be a good thing, but also I was like kind of wishing there was a, more, a little more of a balance uh, between some of these maybe underappreciated books and some of the more popular books. Like I wanted to know what they thought of the more popular books if they read them but they kind of lean towards more of these, um, let's just say underrated YA books. Then we got our cupcake. Yes, they always have a cupcake for us there. And then after the cupcake, we did the adult books, which I can tell I'm doing better with knowing what's, what's the cool books because it was last year, I hadn't heard of any books on their list pretty much. And I, I'm like, man, I am out of the loop but I'm feeling like I'm getting more in the loop from doing the booktubing. So I was kind of excited about that. And this one, I didn't actually really mark down what I wanted to read. I just kind of wrote a little note of like the genre that all these books were. Um, this was another whole page, two pages worth, yes. I think each, um, each session they talk about 50 books or around there, so that's a lot, but on this list, we had like five books that, that have been nominated for our book club next year and that we'll be, we'll be voting on in the next week. And those books are Lessons in Chemistry by Bonnie Garmus, Remarkably Bright Creatures by Shelby Van Pelt, Book Lovers by Emily Henry, Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabrielle Seven. Those four, the librarian went crazy over Carrie Soto is Back by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Oh, that one is on our list too, I forgot. I knew there was another one. Yes, that one is on our list to vote for also. So, and I, I'm not sure if that's what I'm going to, would like, but she said it was awesome. So I guess we'll see if that ends up being on the list and we end up reading it. Afterwards, when we talked about it amongst the friends and they said, can, what else can we add to our list for book club? And I know that they wanted to add Atlas six, which they, which they said was a contemporary fantasy the first in the series by Alevi Blake, Nettle and Bone by T. Kingfisher, The Lost Ticket by Freya Sampson, or Iona Iverson's Rules for Communing by Claire Pooley. Both those books sounded similar in theme and tone, and something that probably we would love as a book club. Wrong Place, Wrong Time, which I guess is a pretty crazy sus suspense one, um, by Jillian McAllister. American Afterlife by Pedro Hoffmeister. That one sounded like kind of a, it's after a big, huge earthquake. So kind of like a survival story. Some other ones that I think I would like to read is I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCurdy. I know everybody's been talking about that one. And at first I didn't have any interest in it, in it at all. But after the librarian talked about it last night, I was like, you know what, maybe I should read that one does sound pretty good. So, The Impossible Us by Sarah Lotz, which they said was a science fiction romance, 
which sounded interesting to me. How to be perfect, the correct answer to every moral question by Michael Schur, who is the creator of The Good Place. They said this is some of the research that he's done and it sounded like it would be really funny. So I, I think that would be fun for a nonfiction one. The Call of the Sea, a historical romance. Um, that was a Viking one, I think. Viking time period. This one, The Stardust Thief. Uh, Chelsea Abdullah. And it was based on 1001 Nights uh, fairy tale. Sounds good. The Dead Romantics, Paranormal Romance. Ashley Poston. That'd probably be pretty awesome, I bet. The Boys by Katie Hoffner suspense. Anyways, those are some of the ones that have jumped out at me and that I hope either I can get to on my own or that end up on the book club list that we will all be reading together this next year. So I get stressed out when I find, when there, I realize there's so many books out there that I haven't read and how bad I want to add them to the TBR list. So hopefully I will think of this as a fun thing and not a stressful thing to add some of these books to the list. Stay tuned for a future video where I will talk about the things that we are voting on for book club and then what ends up winning. I think I'll just make one video of the whole thing, what's on the list and then what, what ends up winning. Um, it's really a fun process that we really, really look forward to every year. Also, be sure and check out the every book in the library videos that I've been doing. I just did the, just uploaded the classics one the other day and so if you are interested in seeing what classics I have on my shelf and what classics I kind of go crazy for be sure and check that one out let me know if you've read any of these books that I mentioned today and which ones you think I should bump to the top of the pile which ones I for sure should not miss out on thanks for watching happy reading everyone bye